Greetings, Keechlings. Keech Prime here with my live reaction of Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Chapter 13. Okay, sorry for the delay, just work and lack of energy, you know. The, the typical at this point. Uh, let's see here. I'll probably get around to um, an ordinary if I get off work early enough today, because I have to go in at 11, which is only uh, two hours away at this point. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, that's if nothing changes, and now I've jinxed it, and I'm waiting for the phone call. Uh, but anyway, okay, so we got Donnie, Percival, and uh, Nisian. They're on the cover. A resolve further honed. Okay, so uh, yeah, we have an amber clown to deal with now with his ice magic and puppetry magic maybe with the way he was doing that like little demon elf thing and uh yeah and it vaguely seemed like um that ordo was like maybe regaining a little bit of his consciousness but i'm not sure they're at least trying to break through to his memory you know that's if that's really even him at this point you know or was ever him really but uh yeah and of course percival like went super saiyan for a second so we'll see what happens there we got like a big explosion in the gorge so that's probably a result from that that's insane he blew that holy night away with the whole mountain percival who are you and he's just got like a i have key now <laughs> I, I, I did it you beat him, kid. You can turn it off now. Uh, okay. And he's turning it into the little doppelgangers. Uh, how? Oh, man. Now I can't... Now I can't put it back in? Uh, we've got a lot to address. Uh, oh, wait. It's Dolores. She's getting up. No way. It's a giant zombie. Dolores? Nisian? Uh, what happened to me? You kind of got a blast of poison in the face. Haru, don't call my sister a zombie. Um, guys, but I thought she died after that monster blasted her with poison breath. Heavy metal. Aw, oh, the, the defensive, but I didn't know she knew the magic. The zom the zombie. Oh god, the, the giant clans. Yes, there's a zombie clan now. Um, the giant clans got this magic that makes their bodies uh, metal for self-defense. So, just before she got cream, that lady launched heavy metal on herself. And given her instant reaction time, I'm guessing she had a decent amount of battle training. I mean, she's a giant, they live long lives, so even a young giant like herself. Oh, God. <sighs> she's probably a good 200 years old. Sorry to make you worry. That's okay, as long as you're safe. But, and now he's Ordo. Oh, he's just still standing there. Okay. The frog four-armed man that he is. They just keep staring at him. I I promised to get your grandpa back to see him, but I couldn't. Hey, Sin, what are you doing up there? Yeah, what has he been doing? Here we are. It's a it's that staff we saw, I believe. I think we've seen a staff like. Good Lord, what what am I trying to remember? What's that? That dude. Uh, Talisker uh, dropped it when you uh, floored him. Okay, so yeah, okay, I, I wasn't just misremembering something. I just couldn't remember who had it for some reason. Ah, uh, and they've destroyed it, and he's bubbling away. Ordo? Wait, and now he's back to normal. That was a little too easy, to be honest. Let's see here. Mission accomplished. And Nisian is running up to him to hug him. I'm surprised Dolores isn't like just picking them both up into like big family hug. Okay, let's see here. 
Mm. Mm. Excuse me. Man, I just had to laugh. A kid as frank and nonsense as him, carrying on like a, a sweet little girl. <laughs> of course he would. He got his beloved grandpa back after all. Oh, yeah, sorry. I guess Donnie really isn't one for family. So yeah, um, by the way, what was that goofy stick that made him into a monster? It was a chaos staff, and we're seeing some examples of them. They're infused with chaotic force. The king of uh, Camelot hands them out to his knights. Oh. Why are they carrying those around? I don't know. Go ask the king yourself. Okay. So, Percival's ready to go. Well, I've made up my mind. I thought my job uh, was done once I found my dad and beat him up. But after meeting Nassian and fighting uh, uh, Talisker, I realize I'm going to wipe the king of uh, Kamimot too. <laughs> okay. I mean, he, surely he's heard it more than once. He should know how to pronounce it, but nah, I'm the same way. I don't want anyone else to get uh, go through what I did, or I had to. You serious? Ha! I like your resolve, kid. Also, it's Camelot. Camelot. <laughs> uh, yeah, that anyway. Let's get going to Leono. Yeah. Leonis. Bah. I can't even say that one right. And, but his stomach grumbles. Also, his power is leaking out. Huh. Huh, excuse me. Oh. How did our Find the Biggest, uh, Baddest Prey game work out? I actually caught like 10 or so, uh, uh, Mutilator Rabbits. Mutilator? Uh, yeah, let's just call it off. Yeah, his haul was zero. <laughs> no, I won on that count, huh? Wait, what is that? Where did that come from? Yeah, he just kind of materialized that out of his tail after wagging. Also, this is a rare uh, ultramarine, ultramarine, is that a color? Uh, mutilator rabbit. They go for 20 times the normal rate. We lost to a fox. Uh, and the rules uh, said the winner gets to give one order to the losers, right? <laughs> this is going to be, this is so going to be bad news. Okay. Want me to pick fleas off you? You want to die? <laughs> Wait a minute, please. Wait. Oh, it's Nassian. What is it? Uh, I think he wants to give you a tearful farewell kiss or something for us. Oh, God. What's wrong, Nassian? I want to come along with you. Oh, so he's actually joining the group. Whoa, he's back to no nonsense. <laughs> uh, he is pretty straight-faced right there. Wait, what did you say? You want to join us, but but why? I owe you for saving Ordo in our gorge. And, oh, that's fine. And, no, it's not. I I make a point out of not owing favors. Ordo told me to leave Echo Gorge and learn about the world. I want to be a better druggist uh, than him someday. Besides, you're kind of my first first what friend. I hope. <laughs> I don't think. Oh. This is Dolores and Ordo watching from afar. I don't think I've ever seen that look on Nassian's face. He's finally met a fellow person he can call a friend. I can't have you just go on... Uh, go on me. What? Really? He's confessing his love to him? <laughs> oh, Lord. I mean, you're my very first guinea pig. Oh. I hadn't even conceived that notion. And that made Donnie fall on his head again. Eh, he's going to join us and he expects us to just say, yeah, sure. Eh, it's kind of like One Piece in a way. What's the problem? Maybe his uh, magic and knowledge of poisons will help us out. Forget it, he's such a creepy downer. Remember, I get one order from you, don't I? Oh, so Sin's pulling it on that. Alright, let's get going to see him. Oh, and he's happy face again. 
We're traveling to Leonis right now. Any place nearby we can find some transport. There's a uh, Sistana, a town north of here. Ordo and I go there to sell medicine. Whoa, a town? Don't get that excited, you yokel. Uh, no picking on my guinea pig, please. What? Aw, oh, his power is still, like, coming out in the form of his little doppelgangers, which is, uh, hmm. That's... He must have just so much power running through him because of his emotions that it... He's, like, maybe unlocked a new level and he just can't control it right now. And that was the end of the chapter? Let me double check. Yes, seems to be. Hmm. And they're on the road. On the road to... What was it called again? Uh... Sistana. Hmm. Anyway, okay. Not a bad chapter. We have a new traveling companion, which is always nice. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. Dolores is staying back in the gorge, you know, with uh, Ordo, trying to keep the order, so to speak, of the gorge, and just will maybe meet up with them eventually. But also, just a little interesting that she does have uh, like giant's magic, you know, for heavy metal and stuff. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but she was like. She looked really young when they first found her, so it's kind of hard to really say, or when Ordo found her. So it's really hard to say how old she is at any point in time because of how giants age, but not to say that she wouldn't have had some kind of battle training, you know, before she got separated from the clan and, you know, ended up in the gorge, so... Fair enough point, I guess. It can check out. But just a little suspicious that that hadn't kicked in before then, I guess. Also, would heavy metal even do something like that? Like, protect you from poison? That one seems a little dubious. We never really understood, like... It seemed more like a durability thing. and But poison, you breathe it in, but so is it... Did it just harden her lungs and everything too? Or is it just like external protection? Not really sure. The way they describe it, it seems like it, you know, it's kind of like the thing. It was like really visualized quite well in the, uh, the 2005 movie. Like, you know, even his organs have become rock-like and everything. So it's kind of like that except heavy metal. Um... But yeah, so that's an interesting thing, so... Okay, Ordo's back. Nassian's joined the party. And, uh... Sin still ha won the contest and used the order on Donnie already. But there's still one left for uh, Percival as well. So we'll see how well that works. Also, with Percival just blasting away the Amber Clown, seems a little too quick. I imagine he probably survived. He just, you know, like Team Rocket, blasting off again. So we might see him again. But these, um, what were they called? Chaos Staffs? Or Staffs of Chaos? I think it was just Chaos Staff. Um, that... Arthur is apparently just handing out causing chaos. That really just does not seem like him. Something is off about that guy now all of a sudden. And, you know, in the the interim since Seven Deadly Sins ended. So that worries me. And he's just kind of handing these things out so that they can cause issues. But yeah. So, at least now we're starting to get like it's kind of a Digimon plot where it was like the Black Gears and then later it was the Black Spirals in O2 where, you know, like they infect a Digimon, they become evil and more powerful to an extent. And that's kind of what these staves are doing. It corrupts them and gives them a bit of a power up. So, yeah, kind of running into that 
trope, aren't we? Um, so there's that. So I will probably be seeing more of those staves. More crazy magic mutants, I guess you could call them. But seemingly you destroy the staff and they come back normal. So that's at least something, right? But then you would think that would also make it a little too easy. But then again, you would give it to a powerful person. And the clown did do pretty well. Um, what was his name? Uh, Talisker. He was pretty powerful for the most part until Percival, you know, summoned up Super Saiyan power and just key blasted him away so we'll have to see and also just all the power that uh percival has right now is constantly just leaking out of his body so we'll see if that becomes a detriment to him like maybe he's just not having like full magic control yet so it's leaking out because he accessed more power than he had before or is this going to you know he's just going to train with that and just have like little doppelgangers all the time for a while or is this going to actually drain on him and when he tries to summon fourth power you know he's found out that like there's just so much that's been leaking out over the course of however long until the next battle and then it'd be like ah crap my tank's empty <laughs> you know kind of deal so we'll see his uh finite amounts of energy that he might have might also play in you know some kind of a role but uh yeah so they now have a poison master a uh traveling uh oh what were they called like a street performer and a little knight and a fox so the group has grown we'll see where uh, what happens in Sistana so yeah but anyway let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this anything I missed misunderstood please let me know down below check out my other content see what you like suggest things for the future um, if possible help me uh, reach 500 subs by the end of uh, April it's only about a week away so maybe we can hit 500 500 I don't I doubt it but you know that's the goal right now Anyway, uh, links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet it out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keeshlings, we're just going to have little Percival, you know, doppelgangers everywhere. Which, they're cute and they could serve a purpose. Who knows?